The last item of installing the TU5300 or 5400SC process turbinimeter consists of configuring the digital or analog outputs for communication to a programmable logic controller or other type of digital control system. While this video will demonstrate the easy steps necessary to configure the analog outputs on the SC200, the digital settings such as Modbus or Profibus registers are available for easy download at www.hawk.com. We start the process by pressing the menu key and scrolling down to the SC200 setup menu. The output setup is one down and by default every SC200 includes two 4 to 20 or analog output uh, devices. An additional three outputs are available by purchasing an optional card which can be loaded inside the controller. Notice output 1 is pre-configured by default to the serial number of the TU5300 in use. Output 2 is currently not set to any source. So output 1 we will configure. Activation, select source, set parameter, set function, transfer and filter are all different ways we configure the output. The source allows you to select which device you want the output to monitor. In this case, the serial number of the turbidimeter is appropriate. The parameter depends upon the sensor, and for the 5300 we have both the turbidity value or the flow rate. In this case, we'll use the turbidity value. Function provides four different ways that the analog output will monitor or reflect the turbidity value. Most all cases will use the linear control in which every turbidity value will end up with a proportional current in a linear fashion. These other three options are available and further details can be obtained in the SC200 manual. Set transfer provides the user with an optional output during maintenance and calibration items. During those times, you can either hold outputs, you can keep the outputs live, or you can transfer the current to a preset value determined here. For example, you can always output 2 milliamps or perhaps 22 milliamps when the device is being maintained or calibrated. Finally, set filter is a signal averaging or smoothing function. So, in this case, the default is zero seconds, but if you wanted the 4 to 20 or analog output to be signal average to smooth its response, you could input a filter time in seconds in this particular location. If we scroll back up to activation, these are the most important two settings, the low value and the high value. So in this particular case, the low value represents the turbidity in NTU that will be proportional or equivalent to a 4 milliamp output current. The high value is the turbidity in NTU that will be equivalent to a 20 milliamp analog output. So we want to make sure these are appropriately set so that they are understood and communicate well with a digital control system. So the low value by default is zero NTU. This is adjustable by the user, but normally zero NTU, the bottom end of the 5300, is appropriate. So we'll leave that alone. Scroll down to the high value, and this is typical. By default, the high value is set to the full maximum operating turbidity or value from the sensor, in this case 1000 NTU. If we used 1000, we would probably have poor resolution in the analog output. So we'll change this to a more appropriate value, something like 1 NTU. The user can decide for themselves what's appropriate to convey possible turbidities while still retaining good resolution. So one NTU we'll use, and that's it. We can go back to the main menu or the home screen by pressing the home, and our turbidity value now is being output as 6.16 milliamps 
which is appropriate for the way it's been set up. 